Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Futurism.com. They're talking about a, a team of Finnish scientists who have created food from electricity and carbon dioxide. It's sort of a simple process if you think about it. Well, first off, they generate electricity from solar or wind. But if you, plants do this all the time, they take energy from the sun, they convert carbon dioxide and water into, uh, you know, sugars and proteins and grow with photosynthesis. This is sort of like an artificial photosynthesis. They use some catalysts and some uh, water and perform what's called hydrolysis. You run just a little bit of electric current through some water, it'll split off into hydrogen and oxygen. They have these hydrogen oxidizing bacteria that help combine all the materials in this soup, if you will, into proteins, amino acids, in other words, that are the basic building blocks of life. I'm sure they do some carbohydrates as well. They don't go into a whole lot of detail. They say it's 10 years away from uh, commercial development, and they say that's a realistic timeline. We'll see. But this does have a lot of potential uh, pitfalls, but also what it could become is a solution to world hunger, they say. You can produce this anywhere where you got solar or wind. You don't have to worry about making more emissions or burning more fuels to generate this electricity, and you got food where it's most needed. If there's no rain, you can't really grow a lot of food, and you can't really use this system if there's no fresh water, so there are limitations, but I think they might be able to work them out. If you want to read more about it, of course, the link will be in the description, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.